Hi students, how are you all? Okay guys, today we can see the choose the correct answer. Please check out the answers, okay? So first one is the Sunda Trench lies in the Dash Ocean. That is, the answer is the Indian Ocean. Okay, then the temperature of the ocean waters gently dash at greater depth. So what's the answer? It not increases and it will not decreases. It will not also remain constant. So now the answer is none of the above. That is answer D. Then the third question is ocean currents are produced due to dash. What's the answer? It was due to the variation in temperature. That is answer B. Then consider the following statements. So first point is most of the fishing grounds occur in areas where the continental shelf is wide. Then second point is fishing is well developed in warm tropical waters. Then third point is mixing of warm and cold currents facilitates plant nutrition for fish. Then fourth one is inland fishing became significant in India. So here the first point, second and third are correct and the fourth one is wrong. So the answer is D. The fifth question is the oceanic ridge comes into existence due to the divergence of tectonic plants. That, uh, that means the answer B. Okay. So then sixth one, which of the following indicates the correct sequence of the topography beneath the surface of the sea so the answer is answer a the continental shelf continental and slope sea plain sea trench then seventh question is which of the following is not correctly matched okay here the fifth uh, sorry sorry the answer b is not correctly matched that is the la border current is not atlantic ocean it's not correct so you can mark the answer B. Then eighth question. The amount of plankton to be found in the ocean is determined by what? Depth of the water, ocean currents, temperature and salinity, length of the day and night. So what's the answer? It's answer B. It's based on the depth of the water, ocean currents, temperature and salinity. That is answer B is the correct answer. Then so here the next one about the assertion questions. So first one is oceans are always shown in. So first answer question is um, that means uh, in A section they give both A and R are correct and R explains A. B both A and R are correct but R does not explain A. That means A uh, means assertion and R means uh, reason okay so in the ninth question oceans are always shown in the blue in maps uh, reason is it indicates the natural color of the oceans is it correct so a is the correct answer that means asian mm -hmm. oceans are always shown in blue in map map we are also showing blue right yeah so and uh, it indicates the natural color of the oceans no it's not so only a is correct but or is false the tenth one Assertion uh, is flat topped sea mounds are known as gyres, and uh, the reason are all gyres features are of volcanic or uh, origin. So, both A and R are correct, but R does not explain A. Then, love with question submarine canyons or deep gorges on the ocean floor. Then, the reason is they are mainly restricted to continental shelf slope and rise so it's also saying both are actually correct but it is not explained of a okay so it, that means the a is not correctly explained and then um 12th one atolls are most common in the atlantic ocean and the reason is the marine population at the depth is less so it's also the answer b both a and all are correct but or does not explain a so guys for the tomorrow's class please study all these um, one words and um, 
this give reasons that means the assertion and reasons okay in the next class we can learn about the uh, two marks questions that means the short answers okay guys okay bye